one of the important thing in Next.js application is layout component. Layout component can be shared across all the pages. You might wondering whenever you create a new page in this page folder, you have to specify the heading and the footer for that page. Is there any way to solve this problem? Yes, it is. Using layout, you can solve this problem by specifying the default heading or the footer for your page. Or you can even specify the default content for the page using layout. Let's take a look at how you can use layout in Next.js. Inside these pages right here, I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to name this folder layout. And inside this layout, I'm going to create a new file. The file name is layout.js. You are not limited to specify only layout name to this file. You can specify any name to this file. That's upon you. Let me just close all these unwanted files and I'm going to create a new layout here. So you just need to export a default function. So I'm going to say export default function and the function name is layout. You can specify any name here that's upon you. And inside this function, I'm going to return a division tag. And just out of that inside this div, I'm going to say layout. Now just out of that, I'm going to back to my index.html. Now you can notice this is my default index.html file. Let me get it off all this content from here because now we are changing few things inside this file. So let's get it off all this code. And right here inside this return statement, I'm going to add my layout. So we need to first import the layout. So I'm going to say here import layout from layout layout.js. If you don't want to confuse with this path, you can change this folder name. Now, once you have your layout, you can just import that right inside this return statement, something like this. So now once you have your layout, here I'm going to simply call the link and inside this link, I'm going to say go to first post and to this link, let me specify href attribute, which is going to be post first post. So now using this link, we can navigate to the first post component. Let me save these changes back to my application and you can see I'm just going to have here a text called layout. You can see inside this layout we have here a link. I wanted to print this link and specify the default heading for this page. So instead of just specifying the h1 heading tag inside this layout, you can just call a parameter here to this layout to print these children's. You have to tell Next.js that inside layout you have children's. And you have to print the children's as well. To do that, you have to back to the layout.js and here we pass a parameter children. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to print this children right here. So I'm going to say here children. Let me save this back to my project. And you can see here, I'm going to have my children as well inside this index file. Now let me just specify some style to this layout. Let me get rid of this h1 and to this div right here. I'm going to specify some style. So let me just create a new style for this layout. So inside this layout folder, I'm going to create a new file and name that file layout.module.css. You can see how I specify name to this file layout.module.css because we are creating CSS module. So we pass here extension module.css. Inside this layout module here, I'm going to create a container. And inside this container, I'm going to say margin is going to be auto text align center display flex and justify content center let me save this back to the layout and here to this div we specify that styling so at the top we need to first import that style so i'm going to say here import styles from and then we specify dot forward slash layout module dot css if you want, you can use SAS as well. That's upon you. And just specify styling to this div. We specify class name. And in the curly braces, we specify style dot container. Something like this. You can see I'm going to have my text at the center of the document. Now, let me just put this text inside the H1 heading tags like this. And now let's suppose that you want to change this title. You can see the title is localhost 3000. You want to change this title. And you want to make this title home. So you back to the layout.js file and at the top you first import 
head component of next chest and before this children right up here you call that head component and in the title you specify home or you specify your own title to this layout save this back to the project and you can see you have your home title here now let's suppose that you use this layout for this first post component what i'm going to do is i'm going to import this layout and use the styling of this layout to this first post so i'm going to just add this layout first at the top i'm going to say import layout from the layout file and import layout.js and I'm going to grab this layout and instead of this bracket, I'm going to put this layout here. Something like this. Now, let me save the changes and open this first post. So, if I try to click on this go to first post, I'm going to just navigate to my first post. And now you can notice I have everything at the center of the document because we have styling to the layout component. And inside that layout component, we have this content. Now, the title is next first post. This is because inside this first post layout, we, we have this head component. If I remove this head component right from here, I'm going to have the default title, which is home. So if you want to change the default title, you can simply use the head component inside your page. Save this file. Now back to the index.js. When you build your website, you probably have your header, your main section and the footer of the website. So as you can see in this layout, we have the head means we can specify title to the pages let's create header component here so i'm going to create an html header something like this and after that you have the main section for your website and then you have your footer so in most of the website you will have header main section and the footer now let's grab the children and put that in the main section inside this header i'm going to check that if it is the home page then print the home page header otherwise print the other pages header so let's suppose that you have two different headers and you want to display the home page header only for the home page and the other header for other pages to do that you can just simply pass here a parameter just pass here a comma and i'm going to name this parameter home that's upon you you can specify any name to this parameter and inside this header in the curly braces i'm going to say home if i have home if i have value inside this home then print the true value something like this otherwise print the false value now inside this first true value i'm going to add a h1 heading tag and then i'm going to say home page header and in this false value right here i'm going to add h1 heading tag again and then print other page header something like this and if you want you can do the same for this footer as well now let me save these changes and show you the result first back to my project and as you can see here i'm gonna have here other pages header if i back to my home page i'm gonna get here other pages header and my text now what if in the index.js here i'm gonna pass value to this home property or you can say to this home parameter in the index.js if i pass here home that means this layout is for home when i save the changes back to my project and you can see here i'm going to have here home page header this is because now i'm specifying that the layout is used for home and now we specify value to this home parameter so this first true value is going to be executed and if i back to the first post i'm going to have my header of other pages so we can have two different headers with the same layout Layout is very useful for structuring your website because when you have header, main section, the footer, the sidebar to your website, you can easily manage that with layout. Practice with this code to understand how layout work in Next.js.